In this video, we have a cone-shaped paper water cup, which has a height of 12 centimeters, that's this right here, and a height or a radius of 6 centimeters, which is this right here. So this entire cone-shaped cup has a, has a height of 12 and a radius of 6. Then it says if the cup is filled with water to two-thirds its height, that's represented by this part of the drawing here, what portion of the water, of the volume of the cup is filled with water? Okay, so what we need to do is figure out two things. We want to find out V, big V, which is the volume of the whole thing, and the volume can be written like this, uh, pi r squared h over 3, okay? And we will use big R and big H for the, for the big one, and we'll use little r and little h for the little one. So let's write down what information we have. We know that we have a radius in the cone, big R, of 6 centimeters. We know we have a height of 12 centimeters, okay? And then it says, if the cup is filled with water to two-thirds its height, two-thirds its height. So to find the new height, we just multiply the, the height, which is 12, by two-thirds. So little h is two-thirds times 12, which is 8, okay? And now to figure out, and that's centimeters, to figure out little r, we need to set up a proportion, okay? So we can set up big R over big H and set it equal to little r over little h because they're in the same, they're in the same shape, right? They're both cones, okay? So they can be compared to one another. Um, so we get 6 over 12 is equal to r over 8, okay? And if I multiply the 8 to the other side, times 8 and times 8, this 8 here will cancel. And then we get 48 over 12 equals r, which equals 4. So r, little r is equal to 4, okay? So we're going to use this formula right here twice, one with the larger numbers and one with the smaller numbers, and then we're going to compare them uh, to each other. So start with the bigger one. V is equal to pi. Our r is 6, so 6 squared, and our h is 12 divided by 3. Okay, and if we work this out, we get 6 squared, which is 36, times 12, and then divide by 3, you will get 144 pi centimeters cubed. Okay, and let me show you real quick to confirm that in the calculator. So you can see it, so 6 squared times 12 divided by 3. Notice I didn't put the pi in here. Um, so it is 144. Notice what would have happened if I would have put the pi in here. It would have it would have gotten crazy with a decimal because pi is irrational. So don't include the pi. Just write it down as, as part of your answer. Okay. Now for the small v, we'll use the smaller numbers. So it is pi times our little r, which is 4 squared, times our little h, which is 8, um, and then divided by 3. And if you multiply that all out, you square this one, multiply it by 8, and then divide it by 3, you end up getting 128 pi over 3. Okay. And let me show you that in the calculator as well. So 4 squared, I'm not going to put the pi in there. Uh, 4 squared times 8 divided by 3. Math enter, enter, and we get 128 over 3 and then put the pi on the end, okay? So this is in centimeters cubed as well. Now, they, the question was, uh, what portion of the cup is filled up with water? So we need to take the water and divide it by the entire volume of the cup. So the vo volume of water divided by the volume of the cup. So that's going to be little v over big V, which is equal to, uh, let's see, 128 over 3 pi divided by 144 pi. Okay, this is a complex fraction, so I'm going to put a one underneath and I'm going to flip this one, turn it upside down and multiply it in my next step. So I get 128 pi over three, and I'm flipping this one and multiplying, so it becomes one on top and 144 pi on bottom. Okay, now notice that there's a pi here and a pi here, so they cancel and you get 128 divided by 3 times 144, 
which is 432. Okay, and if we put that into the calculator, 128 divided by 432, and make it a fraction, we get 8 over 27. So the portion of, of the cup that's filled up with water is 8 27 and if you wanted to write that in as a uh, percent, it would be about, what, 29.63% of the cup is filled up with water. And that's it.